We are here in the hills of Waimea on the campus of Hawaii Preparatory Academy, home of the state's most challenging cross-country course. The course sits at 2,300 feet with unpredictable rains and strong winds and features a long steep incline up the side of the hill affectionately called the Taj, named after the horse stables that sit at the top of the hill. This home advantage has trained generations of Kamakani runners, resulting in numerous state titles, including back-to-back -back boys and girls titles in 1993 and 1994. The following story by students from Hawaii Preparatory Academy on the island of Hawaii follows a uniquely spiritual beautification project in Waimea. It was like a year, year ago we started planning and Ultimately, we asked around the community, and Waimea Community Center said we could paint their walls, so from there it all got started. Mele Murals is a nonprofit that works with communities to create place based murals from Hawaii to South Africa. This mural here at this community center is, I think, number 55 in the series of Mele Murals. The coordinators, in conjunction with artists from HPA and around Waimea, hiked into the hills where they were told the stories of this area for inspiration. We hiked up to Hoku'ula, which is a hill in Waimea, and we chose this place because it's somewhere that we go to school every day. A lot of us live here. Uh, it's very lush, very windy, very cold, and almost remind me of a uh, sound of music riding through the hills type of thing. To come up with the ideas for the murals, we teach the young people how to meditate, how to ground and connect to the heavens, to the earth and ask for inspiration, ask the land what it wants there, and that's how we come up with those ideas. Trying to envision a white light, and, you, and it goes through you and like spreads out all around you, and you're supposed to ask like what you should paint after hearing the stories, and like you either get it like accepted or something doesn't feel right. We got these images in our minds that really reminded us of the place that we were in. From there, we take them to a sketching phase where they get to jot down all their ideas. Um, we tell a story through a mural, by trying to get like the main images of stuff, kind of like if you have a story like a book cover, you're trying to paint the cover so people like have like the main idea of what it means and they're interested and want to learn more about it. Then students from all across Waimea pitch in to paint the mural on the side of the local community center's wall. In the center of the mural, there is a big face representing a goddess and her name is Wau. She's um, known for her really long hair covering her body. She doesn't wear anything else because her hair is so long and we kind of saw it in the meditation flowing into the waters of Waimea, the streams. The five pohaku were really important to me. In our meditations, rocks kept coming up in my mind, and I was like, this must mean something really significant. Uh, the five pohaku are around the goddess Wau, uh, and they represent the five winds and rains of Waimea. Mana Ua, um, she's the mo'o wahine, it's like a lizard shapeshifter. And she's came up a lot in like my meditation stuff. I just kept seeing like these lizard eyes, like straight up out of the water. And teaching the stories after hearing them from the, like on the mountain and after internalizing them for a while, being able to teach them to the kids that have come to visit and help paint has really connected me to here because it's so important to pass down the mo'olelos and the stories and everything that gets lost through generations. When kids forget where they come from, they forget where they're going. So we had to choose this place in order to keep the longevity of it, keep passing down knowledge, generationally just educate the next one and the next, and that's how you preserve culture. And now a wall that was once simply green serves as a place for the stories of Waimea to be told to anyone who comes. This is Madison Hughes from Hawaii Preparatory Academy for Hikino.